announcement or add an image next to the button of the character or something like that. Change the button to an image and stuff like that. So n for this one is going to be our variable total number of buttons and this here is going to be temp button number. So we're going to loop from one to the total number of buttons. And for each time we do this, we're going to create, we're going to go to dialog, create dialog item, or create dialog button is easier to use. Uh, last created dialog, uh, it will refer to this dialog, uh, if I move this away. Since this is the last created dialog in this function, it will refer to this. However, ah, let's just leave it. You could also use the variable that you have set up there, but let's just leave it. It works with last created dialog. Width and height, once again, we're going to go up here. And we're going to set the width to, yeah, 200 is fine. And the height to uh, 50. Let's make them big buttons. Button width and button height. Now we're going to have to calculate the offset. Um, anchor top left, this is where the, you offset from. You will also notice that you have an anchor here. Anchored basically decides where on the screen you anchor the dialog to. So center means, well, basically the middle of the screen. If I take top left, it will be the top left of the screen. And the offset will count pixels X and Y from, uh, from the offset. So if you anchor top left and it's like X to 50, it will go 50 pixels to the right from the top left. And then Y to 50, it will go 50 pixels down from top left. However, if you set change the, uh, the, the point to bottom right, the anchor point, it will then go 50 pixels to the left from bottom right, and then 50 pixels up from bottom right. So you don't have to, you never have to use negative numbers here in the offset unless you want to offset it by a negative amount. For instance, when you you do it, uh, you set it to the center, it will always adjust so it, you use a positive value from your offset point. All right. So when I set top left here and the offset 50 for X is fine because that all the dialogues in StarCraft have a bit of a border, so you need a small X offset. And then you usually use the Y offset to line the buttons under each other. So we will do setting button offset X. And we're going to set it to 50. We're going to do another one, button offset Y. And we're going to, oops, I wasn't intentional. I meant to drag this in here. And we're going to set that to 50 as well. Sorry. Uh, actually, we're going to set that to 10. That's fine. Initial offset Y. That one I'm going to set to 50. You need a lot of. And here, then lastly, I'm going to have another temp variable here. Temp button. Offset Y, and I'm just going to leave it at zero. I'm actually going to drag it down here, and I'm going to set. Actually, I'm not going to leave it at zero. I'm going to set it to be the value of the initial offset, 50. So how we're going to do this is we're going to set the offset X here to our variable offset X. I'm not going to change it, so I'm just going to set it offset that and offset Y. I'm going to set to my temp offset Y. All right, the button text, I'm just going to set to ABC for now. We'll fill it in later. No tooltip and no hoover image. Uh, this tooltip is a tooltip. You hold your mouse over the button and it appears. And the hoover image is uh, how you change the button when your mouse moves over it. You can set it to a different button image, for instance, a slightly different color on the button or something. But anyway, now all we have to do in this loop is just ad adjust the temp Y offset. And it will basically just move the buttons underneath each other. So I'm going to do a modify variable. 
we're gonna have the offset y here, and we're gonna take plus arithmetic here integer. We're gonna add the button height, and then we're gonna add uh, the button offset y. And basically, this should create um, six buttons in a row right now with uh, an offset between each button of 10 spaces. And the first one starting at 50 here, as you can see here. Uh, the dialog, we obviously need to modify the dialog size after we've done this. So we're going to add yet another um, another variable here, setting, dialog, extra height, and I'm just going to set it to, say, 100. All right, and then I'm going to go in here and modify variable. I'm a bit lazy, so I'm just going to use the button offset here, plus the... Uh, dialog extra height, then we're going to have a setting dialog width, we can use a static width since we just don't, 350 is fine, since we don't uh, add any buttons towards the right, then we go to dialog here, and there should be a size, set dialog size, last created dialog, and we set the width to the Uh, where is it? Temp dialog button offset y and height to the uh, dialog width. Now, I've reversed it here. What am I doing? Dialog width and height to offset y. There we go. So, what this will do now is that it's going to add all these buttons to the dialog, calculating the new offset for the anchor point each time it adds a button, so that we get the uh, yeah, extra spacing. Actually, this one has to be uh, No, it doesn't. Extra spacing uh, after each button, a little bit of spacing between each button. And then at the end here, we just add some extra space for the borders of the dialog. And then we just set the dialog height as well. This way, the only thing we have to change if you want more or less buttons is actually this button variable here. By changing this, the dialog will automatically adjust its size and uh, the amount of buttons on it, without us having to go in here and change any other setting. So this is uh, usually a really useful thing when you make dialogs. Try to make it automated, uh, so that you don't have to work so much if you want to tweak it a little bit. So I see I forgot here to set variable. I have to put, obviously I have to put the dialog items dialog item, index, we're going to use this uh, button number, and the value is going to be the last created dialog item. We have to put the dialog items into this dialog item here. We need this because uh, we need to use that to track which button is being pressed. All right, so I'm just going to launch up the game now, and we can see how this dialog looks. I just need one more thing. Uh, we need one more action, and we're going to new action definition, show, show dialog. Show the character selection dialog, and all we do there is go to dialog, So high dialog, and we're gonna set the. Actually, in here we're also gonna do a. Sorry, I forgot that. We're gonna do a dialog action again. We're gonna hide it here. So high dialog. Hide last created dialog for all players. In here we're gonna take a player ID. 